the Cancer full moon on December 30, takes us full cycle from December 2019 BC, before COVID, a whole year ago, to the new home we found beyond 2020 to the current reality. This moon has us looking back and reminds us of emotional connections and the place we seek for safety, acceptance and nurturing. True home is in the heart and in the earth and where we allow love to flow through us. Even so, there's a culmination with this moon that might bring a move to a new style of living or the establishment of a new foundation. Change has been necessary and like a crab that's outgrown its shell, we've had to adapt to circumstance and take a risk for a better outcome. This will pay off, even if it feels backwards before forwards. Uranus and Lilith in Taurus are sending some bravado your way that essentially gives the confidence to make a break and get free. Chiron, the archetype of soul growth, is in Aries and is also putting in a bid to end pining or heartache by accepting things have changed and facing the road ahead bravely with all its imperfections and flaws. Chiron helps us integrate the inner strength with the outer experience and this moon phase might dig at some old scars just to show you how far you've gone in the healing process. Cancer rules emotional expression. So body language and the way you use your voice are impactful over this week. It comes from the heart and carries authenticity. Taurus people, especially born around the end of April, are attuned to the atmosphere and in the spotlight. For better or worse, it reveals a truth. The boundaries are made clear with this moon and support can come randomly and unexpectedly, if you accept them. Virgos born at the end of August might also feel an emotional opening taking you by surprise. In Pisces, Neptune has reached the pivot point of the moon's nodes, where we're called to reassess where we put our faith, where we made sacrifice, and where we gave service. It's a big picture overview that can open a new perspective or bring in a creative solution if we can learn from mistakes. A fantasy needs to be debugged on a personal and global level, and it's time to call it out. Cancer moons are naturally sentimental, so be prepared to go over the backstory a few times. And Venus has joined up with the South Node in Sagittarius, meaning you might be reminiscing about an ex-lover, faraway places, or the one that got away. Because Neptune is holding the reins, it won't let you go there without setting off a tripwire. There's a kind of karmic debt to be reenacted, repaid or struck off before we can move forward. Sag and Pisces people, this could be a real debt too, involving money and promises. Don't avoid responsibility because it's not going away and freedom is on the other side if you can take some practical steps to get there. This is the last full moon of the year and Cancer is looking back at the past and holding it close to the heart. What have we learned in 2020? What is in your heart now that we're 12 months on from COVID-19, bushfires and a universal overhaul of social values? The big planet transits of the year featuring Jupiter, Pluto and Saturn in Capricorn have exposed the fragile and unbalanced system we've created and forced us into a reality check. COVID has taught us, despite so much division, we are in this together. It's enabled a time of reflection and transformed the world and the way we interact. This prepares us for a planetary shift in energy towards Aquarian ideals of intelligence, unity, collaboration and innovation a cycle that dominates the next 200 years. Jupiter and Saturn were exactly conjunct a week ago at zero degrees Aquarius. 
and they're still close enough together to be amplifying their combined power. Jupiter expands everything it touches, so we tend to feel more optimistic and good-natured under its influence. Saturn sets the structures, the rules in place, giving us discipline and perseverance. When they work together, they can build dreams, keep excess in check, and offer a protective foundation with a big plan. The Cancer Moon signals emotional strength and maturity to create the next stage. Neptune is in a place where the illusion has lost its charm and breakthrough might come as a conflict or friction, even the straw that breaks the camel's back. But it's time to stop being shocked or dumbfounded and stuck in the same pattern. The big plan is to learn from the past and aim for the high road home, the wonder wall, the path with a heart. So long 2020. We learnt so much. I'm Meryl Key and this is my mystery school. Like, follow, share and subscribe. If you'd like to study my mystery school topics, contact me at my website www.merylkey.com courses. Stay safe for 2021.